What's this? Could it be a marker? How can I be sure that this is a marker? Simply put text on it, which I will stick to this moving object in DaVinci Resolve 18.6. The text will be glued to it as if it's a part of the object even with a slight movement. Just like you saw in my Samsung S24 Plus review video here. How do we do this? Let me show you in our newest episode of Christian's Tech Tips video 4. Let's get right into it. Here we go again. <laughs> Welcome back to another session of Christian's Tech Tips episode 4. This time we will have a bit of an advanced task, but when you follow each step I take, you can easily reproduce it yourself. We'll be heading to the Fusion tab to do some magic with notes, but don't be afraid, we will do it together and you will be able to use this in your own video projects as well. If you're completely new here, thanks for tuning in. I'm Christian and I love making tech reviews, talking about camera stuff and helping you with some awesome tutorials like this one or my DaVinci Resolve beginners tutorial you can find here. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. It really helps me to grow my channel and make more awesome videos like this. Thank you. Okay, but long story short, let's get right into it and open DaVinci Resolve. All right, I've already launched uh, DaVinci Resolve here. And as you can see, this is the intro part of this video. I just uh, used as usual in the project settings, you can see 4K Ultra HD and 30 frames per second for the whole video, just that you know how I set it up. And now I want to find the part I want to use the tracker with the additional text on it. So it sticks to this marker here. So let's figure it out where I want to start. I think it was somewhere here. The marker. Simply put text on it. Which I think. Yes, this is the point where I want to start. So I'll use this blade tool to cut this, cut this sequence in two parts. And then I will continue here. Check even here with a slight movement. All right. And here I want to stop with the sticked one. Okay, for that here, we have the sequence. So I want to start here, that the text appears here. So simply marker, and in the end here, it disappears. So for that, we go here, close to the Edit tab, to the Fusion tab. Select the video, as I said, and then click the Fusion tab. All right, as you can see, we are now in the Fusion tab and you see my video. So we are here at the very beginning of this sequence and the marker is that object what we want to track and put some sticky text on it. So for that we have here already the media in uh, node and the media out node. What we need now is something which tracks this pen. So I press the media in button and I press shift and the space bar together and then a new selection tool pop-up window appears. Here I enter simply tracker and I use this tracker tool. I simply press add and it will be added between the two nodes and it's already connected to the media in and to the media out node. So here in the middle we have this node. When you now go to this preview window, you already see that we have here a small tracker window there and it says tracker one. It's the same when you go here to inspector, this is our tracker one. You can deactivate it and activate it, but we need it activated here. Okay, so what we do here, we want to track this marker and we need a spot to track. In that case, you can go to this rectangle here, the left top corner and press this little square with your left mouse button and hold it down. Then a zoom function will appear and you can search for the top of your object. In my case, it's the marker here. Then I can release the mouse button and it is here on the top of the marker. Be aware when you want to track an object like this one, that there is a high contrast between the object and the background. Otherwise, the tracker could lose its path because when, for example, the black cap of this marker will be merged with my T-shirt or there is an overlay, it can lose the tracking function. So in that case, we should be fine because the the cap of the marker is 
visible and there is nothing in the background in the same color. All right, so we already set it to the top here. We have here on the right side our inspector. We have here several options. So the most important ones are those here. So we have here some icons. The middle one, you can stop the tracking when you started it. The one here is track forward from current time. So this is when you want just to track some parts of the video. And the last one is track forward, the whole sequence. The same is valid for the other direction, so to reverse everything. Okay, for our object, I will press now track forward and then fingers crossed that it will not lose it. And by the way, this takes time, so I will fast forward the clip. Okay, the render completed and at some point I was afraid that it will lose it, but you see it did a great job. You can also move here around and you see exactly where the tracker tracked our object. I think this is a very good example how it works. And now the next point is we want to put the sticky text to it. For that we go to our empty space here in the background and we use a text here from our shortcut menu to add the text. I will add the text here and I will insert here simply marker so that we know that this is a marker. Okay, so I will then connect this node with the tracker node here that they are connected. But as you can see, there is no text here. So we have to modify a bit the tracker. So we will click again on the tracker node on the right side in the inspector to operation and go from operation from none to match move. And out of nowhere, the marker text appeared. So we have to put it close to the marker where we want to place it. So we go back to the text node here and we simply grab this text directly in the middle of these two arrows and we move it to the marker where we want to use it. For my taste, it's a bit too big, so and maybe we need another uh, font. We go back to the inspector and we can adapt here our text. So first of all, I think we reduce the size a bit, right? So I think this is better. We move it again closer to the pen. Then we check out which font we want. I think we can go with Roboto and we will design a medium one. So we have this text now close to the marker and let's do a test run if it already works. Simply put text on it. Okay, as you can see, it's jerking around a bit because it needs a lot of processing power here. But I think moving object, it's it's sticking very good to this marker and it looks like it's really part of our movement. So I think that was it basically. Let's go back to our sequence and let's try to play it. Marker. How can I be sure that this is a marker? Simply put text on it, which I will stick to this moving object in DaVinci Resolve 18.6. Okay, and I think this was the tutorial and um, even though we were in the Fusion tab, it was not that hard and I think the steps were very simple. So I assume that's all. I hope you got how it works. If not, feel free to watch the tutorial again and again and maybe one more time. <laughs> if you enjoyed this new episode of Christian's Tech Tips, I would really appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up. If you like what I do, consider subscribing to my channel. It helps me a lot to grow it and create more videos like this only for you. Speaking of my videos, here are two more. So here and here. So you can continue watching my stuff. Perfect. I don't want to keep you any longer. Stay healthy, take care and see you in the next one.